So the title of this video is concerned with uh, preparing and painting the black elements uh, of the loco and it's actually in two parts. Later on we're gonna, I'm going to um, spray paint some black parts to the locomotive but in this particular section what I want to talk about I'm actually going to be painting a couple of the panels on the body and on the tender uh, matte black so it's the top of the tanks and the insides So I'm lightly, lightly going over with 400, taking care, just lightly, just so that the matte black that I'm going to be painting on by hand has got something to bite into. No more than that. Other side as well, obviously. And you can see this just the top layer has come off. So now I've got a little bit of white spirit on my paper towel and just just going over that slightly. As you can see again another bit's come off it. Yeah, we'll let that, let that white spirit thoroughly evaporate. While that's happening, what I might like to show you is uh, my uh, example <laughs> example tin that I was using to practice uh, painting. And you can see I've actually uh, had a go with uh, the matte black. And that's come out quite, uh, quite well on the top. And I've also, you might see here, you can see here where I've just been practicing with... Um, the ivory colour for the inside of the cab. Later on I'll be doing that as well. Okay, I've measured up uh, the length there and cut it to length. Um, okay, it needs to be just over the edge towards the top, perhaps a millimetre or two. So I'm going to have to judge this quite well, perhaps a bit like that. I'm going to press it down and then just fold over. Let's try and get in the corners there with something like the end of the brush. It's very important on just the black will get underneath it. That'll do I think. Okay the next one. So we've got one side done. So we're going to be painting this, this bit here. So I'm going to continue with the other side and then I'll come back to you. We're back. I'm just shaking up the paint. Both sides uh, mask off. So we're going to crack on. I'm actually going to turn it round. I'm going to be working, I want to work away from the masking tape actually. I personally, I personally find that better. Okay, actually what I'm going to do with the other side is do the inside panel first, or the vertical panel first perhaps I should say. Okay, vertical bit. You want to keep it as even as you can. Okay, 
give that a couple of minutes to harden off and you can I don't know whether you can see that in the camera but that that panel is already uh, it's already going matte but we'll just give that perhaps five minutes to, to harden off and then we'll crack on with the second coat okay so that's that I'm just going to clean the brush in some water and then we're going to crack on with removing the masking tape okay removing the masking tape I'm going to start with this bit I think Take it easy. Yep. Oh, I'm not happy with that. I'll wait till it's dry and perhaps I can do something with that. Okay, that's come out okay. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll have to worry about that bit later. See what's under this side. There's a bit there too. So we'll have a look at that later. Looking at all what we've got is here, this bit. I need to have a look, see if I can get rid of that green somehow. Sorry, get rid of that black somehow. And at the moment, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I'll try and figure something out. Oh, that's not bad. I can get rid of it with a with a stick, actually. So that's fine. I wonder if I can do the same with this side here. Just let me give it another go there. Well, I've tidied it up a bit. Um, don't feel that's too bad. Front's okay, that's the most important, and this side's most important. So, uh, a bit of a panic, but it's alright now. So that's uh, the black from the tanks. Let that thoroughly dry out, and then we'll crack on with the tender. Okay, so moving on to the tender. The vast majority, of the well, all the inside is actually going to be um, black, and the footplate section of the tender, if you like, here that's going to be black as well. So we'll crack on and uh, mask off the green, the vertical outside section, uh, ready for um, ready for its black paint. Now that looks reasonably good. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Perhaps do the other side the same, actually. Okay. So we need to do that edge, there, and there, there, and there. That edge, there, 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 there. Okay, I'll crack on with that, and we'll get back to you once that's done. Now what I've also been doing, because as I said before, it's a very thin edge, so what I'm doing, I'm actually going around with my nail, fingernail, just making sure that that tape is really set against the side there. It's just over the edge. You've got about a millimetre or two millimetre on average, just over the edge, from the green to the black, just from the outside to the inside of the tender. So very lightly going over it in 400 this bit
So we'll crack on with the paint. Ease a bit first. I'm not doing the complete inside. I'm just doing uh, the bit, the bits that are visible. Actually, you have to do this bit logically because. Uh, it's difficult to get to to do it in the logical order so that you don't touch anything that you've painted later on when you get into somewhere else that is about it so I'm actually gonna oh, didn't get it ready, I'm gonna rest this on some wood like this and uh, let this coat dry off and then we'll move on to the next coat and then we should be done just the second coat on top keep that going bring in my bit of scrap wood again put it on there and now it can thoroughly dry out Oh no, oh wrong, put it on a bit of wood here and what's going to happen now is after clearing up all these oh, apparently I'm a bit of a messy pup with paint a few drips everywhere I'm just going to clean my brush, come back and then we're going to take the masking tape off ok, let's get rid of the tape try and do it in some sort of reverse order see if that works down, see it's come out there oh this side too bit of a disaster there but I hope we can do something about it oh it's leaked there, it's leaked there too I'm going to clean, get rid of the masking tape clean my hands and we'll get around to uh, cleaning up the uh, the mess bit. Well unfortunately something went wrong uh, when recording uh, the rest of the, the cleanup of the tender but here's uh, a couple of shots showing the tender after I'd cleaned it up and as you can see um, these front corners have cleaned up very well and I'll just move it round uh, I'm doing this one handed, excuse me, so I'll just turn it round to the back and you can see there these corners have also uh, cleaned up quite well so uh, I'm very happy with the tender so then it's uh, time to crack on then <laughs> 